Hey guys, last time we have covered up the different type of lithium ion batteries, their technologies, their advantages, disadvantages and applications. Let's see what are we gonna cover this time. We'll see the journey of a battery right from the manufacturing to disposal. And which factors of battery play important role while we use them in an electric vehicle. So buckle up guys, let's go for a ride. So the journey of the battery starts from getting the raw materials required to produce a cell. When a cell is created, then a whole battery module is made by connecting these small cells in series and parallel combination including a battery management system for it and thermal management system as well. This is how a whole battery pack is created. After that, this battery pack is integrated into the vehicle. So this battery is used until it reaches to its end of life where it is given for either recycling or other energy storage applications. Some used electric vehicle batteries are used in smartphones or as energy storage such as solar power plants or wind power plants. Based on the specific terms such as safety, lifespan, performance, specific energy, power and cost, the best suitable lithium ion battery chemistry is selected. Safety is one of the most important aspects while choosing a battery for electric vehicle. When IC engines and steam engines were invented 100 years ago, they were also having so many problems. Well, failure is the first step of every great invention, right? The steam engines get blown up and IC engines caught fire. For batteries, main concern is same, the thermal runaway. So the battery enclosure and BMS takes care of this. Batteries are highly dangerous due to heat and physical damage. Due to that, there might be fire or explosion. To ensure this, the safety of the battery pack should be the main concern. Second is lifespan. There are two ways to measure a lifespan of a battery. First is the charge discharge cycle or overall age. Charge discharge cycle is nothing but the number of times a battery can be fully charged or discharged before it can get degraded up to 80% of its original capacity. And overall age is the number of years a battery can be useful. Most EV batteries are guaranteed for 8 to 10 years or 1,60,000 kilometers, that is 100,000 miles. But the capacity of the battery to hold charge reduces as it gets old. This lifespan decreases more rapidly in hot climates. We don't need to prove that the performance of the battery powered vehicle is way greater than the same powered ice engine vehicle. But in blistering summer heat or freezing cold temperatures, its performance deteriorates. Every system has its specific temperature range and it should not be exceeded. Well, unlike an IC engine, motors and batteries work in a larger temperature range. Next is the specific energy. Specific energy is nothing but the energy density of the battery. Well, energy density of the battery is very less than fossil fuels. If you consider the gasoline, we can say it is less than 5% of it. That is the only reason which rises to range anxiety. But the electric motor have greater than 90% of efficiency while the IC engine has only 30% efficiency. Even if we consider all these factors, the energy storage capability of a battery has to be doubled before it can compete head to head with the IC engine with respect to its price or weight. Next is specific power. It is a term which explains the amount of power a battery can deliver per kilogram of mass. An electric vehicle with the same horsepower has a better torque ratio than an IC engine. So specific power is not the concern now, but developing good energy density for a battery is the challenge and bottleneck for electric vehicles. Next is charging time. A lot of people hate this fact that the electric vehicles actually take a remarkable amount of time to charge up. It almost takes 
10 hours to charge a 50 kilowatt hour battery at home. Well, fast chargers can do that in less than 30 minutes, but this charging system adds more cost and weight to the EVs. And charging these batteries again and again on fast chargers actually deteriorates the life of battery. Other option to overcome this is to use battery swapping, but OEMs such as Tesla and Nissan has not been able to implement it efficiently. Now, less than 20% of the batteries are being recycled. When a battery's life ends, most of them are scrapped or burned down. So as number of electric vehicles are increased, the number of batteries which are need to be recycled also increases. So with great scrap comes great recycling infrastructure. Out of many things which inspire us to use electric vehicle is to make world fossil fuel free. But while doing so, we are increasing the e-waste. And if we don't manage how to recycle them, we'll end up in the same situation where we are right now. Well, I think we have covered all the basics related to lithium ion batteries. If you think there is something missing, please let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. And finally, thanks for watching.